Praise the Lord, hallelujah, tonight. I just want to share with you a reminder that the Lord has called us all to a certain walk that He wants us to join Him in. And that's the way that He walks. And we forget it many times. We forget that. And in John 17, it says, verse 16, They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Talk to the Father. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Hallelujah. So, as the Father sent the Son into the world, the Son sends us into the world. Okay? Jesus was always walking from a heavenly position. He never walked from an earthly position. Always heavenly. Always heavenly in the heavens. Because He and the Father were one. And today, by the gift of salvation, the gift of faith, and the operation of the grace, hallelujah, and the precious blood of Jesus and the grace of God, we are filled with the Holy Ghost. And we are to be knowing, conscious of, aware of the fact that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ. And that is the first step that we should be operating from that point. Not down here trying to get up there, but saying, Father, we are in your presence by the precious blood of your dear Son. And we remember this, and we call it to mind, and we walk in it, and we be obedient to the Father, what he tells us to do. Jesus said, I come to do thy will, O God. As a man, he did the will of the Father. As a man, he defeated Satan. He defeated the one who had the power of death. He crushed the death. He crushed the devil's head. Hallelujah. And because of his great work that he did, we are walking not to attain victory. Okay? We're not trying to get victory. We're walking in the victory. We're walking in the victory that belongs to our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. We walk in that victory. We are not defeated. We are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. There is nothing in this universe, the Apostle Paul said, that can separate us, hallelujah, from the love of God in Christ. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors, like I said. We are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Look at verse number 18. Again, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. See, Jesus walked in victory every single moment of every single day. He was tempted in every way that we are, yet he never fell because he was walking in victory. He was doing exactly what the Father said to do. Hallelujah. He never focused on himself and his own circumstances. He always focused on the Father. Hallelujah. And how many times have we, as children of God, failed to keep our focus totally upon the Lord, totally upon the Lord and His will. But yet the Lord is teaching us. He's bringing circumstances to bear in each of our lives and in the life of His church as a corporate body to teach us total dependence upon the Father, total dependence upon God. Hallelujah. And when we're walking in His will, we know what His will is, we walk in it. We, we walk in victory. And the devil wants to usurp that. The devil wants to put doubt upon that. Discouragement upon that. He wants to throw mud on us, so to speak, in the spirit realm, trying to knock us down. But no, we raise up. We rise up. We're risen with Christ. See, the Bible says in Ephesians. The Bible says in Colossians. We have been buried with Him in baptism, and now we are risen with Him in newness of life. 
He is the mighty God at the Father's right hand in a glorified human body, flesh and bone. Hallelujah. His blood has been sprinkled on the mercy seat. Hallelujah. Making an atonement for our sin. Hallelujah. And for the sin of the whole world. But the whole world won't receive it. You have to receive it. You have to come on God's terms. Hallelujah. Jesus says in verse 19 of John 17, And for their sakes I sanctify myself. I set myself apart to do your will, Father, for their sakes. Hallelujah. That they also might be sanctified through the truth. See, because He did it, we're able to do it. See? But it's not us doing it. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, It is the grace of God that did the work in Him and through Him. And that's what it is with us. It's God's grace working in us and through us. Hallelujah. We must get the order correct. See? We can't walk in victory if we're trying to do it. We're trying to, we can't get that. We can't get that victory like that. It's because Jesus has the victory. It's because He has the victory that we walk in victory. And we have the victory. We're not walking to gain victory. We're walking because we have the victory. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Hallelujah. I can't say that enough. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. And so we are a sweet savor, like a smelling incense of life unto those appointed to life. See? And of death to those appointed to death. To those who the Father knows will not receive His precious Holy Son. Can you imagine a person rejecting the Holy One? Rejecting true life? It just boggles my mind how people can reject Jesus. But people do. They reject Him. And then they hate Him with a murderous hatred. And then they hate His people. But see, they already, they're already doomed. They're already, their, their judgment has been set. They're doomed. Because they won't turn. And the Father knows who those are. But our job is to be instant in season and out of season. And preach the gospel to every creature. And let the Father draw in those He's given to the Son. Hallelujah. See, wake them up. Cry aloud. Spare not. See, show my people their sins. See. The sins of the house of Israel. The sins of God's people. And the big sin in America is materialism. It's money. It's, it's entertainment. It's all this stuff that God's people are focused on. And if you really did a, a soul search, if all of us really did a soul search, how much time do we really spend with the Lord? How much time? Is every waking hour with Him, is every thought of ours with the Lord? Or do our thoughts wander into our circumstances? Do our thoughts wander onto things other than Christ? See? Because the whole kingdom of God is Christ, hallelujah. And we are in that kingdom. We come under defeat in our, in our feeling, in our emotions, and in, in, in everything that's going on in our life, in our circumstances, because we take our eyes off of the Lord. We want to deviate from His will maybe just a little bit. No, we can't do that. We have to repent as a people. The church has to repent and follow the Lord wholeheartedly and know that Jesus said, it's my meat, my meat, my food is to do Thy will, Father. And the Father's will that He would lay down His life for His sheep. And He had power from the Father, He said. To lay it down, he had power to take it up again. Hallelujah. That commandment he received from the Father. And we have power from the Father to lay down our life. Hallelujah. And then the Father gives us our life back. Hallelujah. Each day, as we die daily and we walk with him, we take up our cross. We lay down our will. We lay down our everything. We surrender to the Father. And then the Father returns it back a hundredfold. Blessing with joy and with peace and with long suffering and all the fruit of the Spirit in our life. This is the true Christian walk. And it's not an easy walk. But it's a joyful walk. And it can be joyful. Filled with joy, unspeakable. Hallelujah. Full of glory. Hallelujah. Because you know you're doing the Father's will. And when the Father reveals His will to us, 
we have to remember he, he revealed his will to Jesus what it was in Jesus he set his face like a flint to go to Jerusalem and to do the Father's will and as the Father reveals his will to us we have to set our faces like flint to do that will to do the will of the Father it's not only that the Father says okay here's my will it's that the Father says here's my will I want you to do it and then he says and here's everything you need to do my will and he supplies everything that's needed to do his will. Spirit, soul, and body. Don't be discouraged today. If you're, if you're in discouragement, get out of it. Know that that's the devil. That's not God. That's your flesh. That's the world. Those are your three enemies. And the flesh is the worst one. Just shrug it off and say, Lord, I repent for giving into that spirit. And just look at the Father, read about Jesus, about the life of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you can read it starting in Genesis all the way through the Bible, 66 books. You can see patterns and you can see Jesus throughout the Bible. And as the Father sent Christ Jesus, he sends us. And Jesus consecrated himself to the Father. And so must we. We must consecrate ourselves to our Savior and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen.